So one of the consequences of all the snow we're getting this year is that it's going to take a lot longer for this to melt in the spring. Which is going to do two things. One is that um, the lakes and rivers are going to be really high again this year, like they were two years ago. Although two years ago uh, we got a fair bit of snow, but we also got a lot of rain. So the rivers and lakes and ponds and swamps and everything stayed high the entire year. Worst bug year I've ever seen, ever. And it stayed like that right till like September and even mosquitoes into October. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But be, besides all the snow that's going to add volume to the lakes and rivers, the uh, paths here. So generally, I guess probably what I should have done, and I, I don't know, it's probably not, still not worth the effort, but by not shoveling pathways to like the outhouse, the sauna, wood pile, and kitchen, and just walking over the snow every time it fell, it packs it down so densely it almost becomes like a big ice block. So the full width of the path is going to be rock hard and right next to the path, <laughs> yeah, good example right here. Right next to the path it's fluffy deep powder and that deep powder takes a long, or melts really fast in the spring. The uh, pathways take forever. You'll see this even on a lake where the snowmobiles go across the lake in the same spot all the time on one trail. That, uh, that gets really dense and takes longer to melt. Now, the uh, problem with that is that <laughs> when it melts, it kind of melts like that. So there's a bit of a mound in the center where you walk the most and it's the most dense. So it becomes really slippery and you actually can fall off the edges of the thing. So this year, I would say already right now, on the main paths here, and probably a good two feet of dense snow and ice. And now when I step off, there's over three feet of snow in the bush um, everywhere right now. That would have been worse if we had have got cold before the snow started falling this year. Uh, the ground really didn't get a chance to freeze before it got covered in thick snow. So what happens then is the snow insulates from above. The ground is still warm and it starts melting from underneath. So the whole pack is dropping so it doesn't get as, as deep. Um, I'm not sure... If We've had some cold enough temperatures now that I imagine there's frost into the ground now, but not as deep as it would be other years. So that's a good thing. The frost will be out of the ground quicker, which will mean mud sooner. So I'm predicting already, it's too early to really predict ice out and stuff like that, but I'm going to predict that the uh, ground is, uh, well, I'm not going to predict <laughs> As the snow is going to be so deep by the uh, by spring that it might never really late melt. I can, I'm going to guess though, like end of April before we get, uh, or into May. I mean, it's like um, probably even the second week of May before we get full melting, like where everything's gone and the and the ice is melted. We'll see, but I want to show you that that these pathways are really dense, and when you which it looks like I don't need snowshoes then, but as soon as I step off into the deeper snow, it, uh, like I said, up to my waist in a lot of places. So that's why you need snowshoes or you need something like a snowmobile to get around at this time of year. Otherwise your world becomes, just shrinks to this little area that you're able to walk in without, without killing yourself and expending too much energy. So that's what's happening um, right now. I'm getting out on snowmobile and not getting very far on, on uh, snowshoes. But even going to the wood pile is a little bit of an effort. So I brought my work area right here to the front porch of the cabin. And also a little bit of sun this afternoon trying to peek through. But tomorrow is supposed to be sunnier. And it'll come in on this porch and make this a little bit more comfortable to work. Especially when the wind switches around from sort of more of the northwest. Today it was southwest coming right in here and it was brutally cold as a result. So tomorrow should be a little bit better day more comfortable. I'll get this fire going again. I'll probably cook my meals out here and kind of work close to the fire when it does get cold. Alright, so well, if you want to see that video where I am working on this stuff, this is not in, on this channel. It's on my My Self Reliance channel and what I'm doing is working on the loft, framing the inside of the door with logs, um, putting railing in the loft and Hopefully I'll get to putting some more drawers and drawer fronts in the kitchen as well. So if you want to check that out, then go over to that channel and watch, watch it there.
Um, otherwise, that's it for this video, and I look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time. Take care.